All right, hey guys, welcome in. Today we got some color wheel circles that we are gonna create and start out and you are gonna take it to wherever your mind takes your project using and mixing some paints with our just primary colors we are gonna start with. So that's my first thing. Different examples here and I got a bunch of ideas for projects. Actually, I start out with just the color wheel circle itself and then with crayons. Um, so that's a good project that you can do just to mix colors itself. But as I get to my older kids, they wanna use paint. So on a sheet of paper. For the first thing that you need to do is draw a pretty ginormous and big circle trying to match um, as big as you can on the sheet of paper trying to get from edge to edge on here I always start out lightly with kind of a half circle on one side and then a half circle on the other side then once I'm a little bit more confident then I can make it a little bit darker looks pretty good and not, not even tracing and then I want to have them lay out as this worksheet so I want to have kind of my yellow blue and red for my primary colors I want to do yellow blue over here and red but then I want to leave kind of some gaps in between for the other colors that I'm gonna mix. So when I put my colors on here, I will come around and put a yellow, red, and blue, probably a little pinky size blotch of color on each one. Then I can set those off to the side. You can notice that I put a little bit more yellow. You definitely need more yellow since it is a lighter color. In between the colors is the color that you're gonna get. So when you have the yellow and the blue, when you mix them together, you're gonna make green. Mix these two together, you're gonna get purple, red and blue. And then red and orange are, or red and yellow are going to be orange then. Keep it consistent. I'm gonna start out with my lightest color first. Um, and while you have the brush, you can kind of go into the blue a little bit and then into the red over here just to use up kind of your full circle and then try to make it a smooth transition from one to the other using all those colors. So I'll go through that a little bit fast, but then I'll kind of slow it down for certain parts. as it is in here. It's kind of hard to see the purple. The purple looks really awesome from my eyes. Let's see if you can kind of see it. Now I need to kind of wash my brush, brush off. I can't go back into the yellow. Okay, so now that I got a little bit more yellow, I'm gonna slowly start to bring that yellow now over to here, over into the red. And then I'll take that red and pull it right into the yellow and get orange right in the middle. Now I got my primary colors, then my secondary colors, and then it's kind of blending into even like tertiary colors, but you can definitely see also your complementaries going from opposite sides to each other. So now is the challenge that you can kind of turn this circle into whatever that you want. I'm already kind of seeing what I vision in my head of what mine is gonna be. So I'm gonna make a little magic happen. I take this and kind of rotate it on here, just like, all right, here we go, bam. And double bam or like quadruple bam here. I got a whole bunch of different things and different inspiration ideas just by doing the color wheel thing. Um, I've always wanted to do this kind of eyeball project, but then with my extra one, I thought this one actually turned out really, really cool too. Um, on the dark paper and then using some of those uh, metallic and kind of lighter colors uh, to make it look more floral and kind of an organic shape, just doing the regular circle. Um, this was a really, really old project that one of my uh, elementary kids said that, that it almost turned it into like a soccer ball uh, with Messi, the goat, his favorite player on there and then the net. So again, all sorts of inspiration here with just mixing those primary colors, red, yellow, and blue into all the colors of the rainbow. So hopefully you guys had some fun with this. I obviously enjoyed myself. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel. We'll talk to you guys later.